Welcome back to another episode of Easy Peasy Labeling with me, Melissa. Today I want to show you two different ways that you can create self-laminating labels using the Label Editor PC software. Now for this application, I'm going to be using the LWZ 5010PX, but you can use any of the printers here that are PC compatible with the appropriate self-laminating supplies. So I've already launched the Label Editor software and I'm at the new open screen. So here, the first option that we're going to go through is the self-laminating feature. So you can see I have my printer selected up there and the tape, the self-laminating supply that I'm using. So all I can do is I can quickly tap on the self-laminating feature. Now this feature was designed to be super simplified, cut to the chase, create your labels, get in and get out kind of thing. So I'll show you how this works. And then if you want something more or you're looking for more details, um, we'll look at the second option for that. So I went ahead and selected that feature and you can see that it's brought me to the self laminating parameters. So I've got over on the right hand side here, I can set my label length. So let's go ahead and do that. For this application, I want the labels to be one inch long. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select that here Perfect. I can also control the margins and this is where the print button is as well. But let's get back to the parameters tab. So here you can see I've got the option to set the number of labels. So if you're creating one, that's fine. But if you need additional, you can set that here. For this first application, I need five different labels. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to five. You can use the up down arrows or just enter in whatever number you need. Now the next option is the sequence type. This is really what type of information are we putting on the label? So this could either be alphanumeric sequence or it can be freeform text or an import. I'm gonna show you both options. So we'll start with the alphanumeric sequence. Okay, so that's selected here. It's just a drop, drop down, so select whichever one. And now it brings me to the alphanumeric tab. Now for this scenario, I'm gonna set up where I have a static text of TS, and then I need the numbers to serialize up from there. So on the first format option here, I'm going to select string, and I'm gonna put in that beginning nomenclature. This may be different for you. Again, this is just going to stay the same throughout each of the labels, and only the number is gonna be what changes. So for this, I'm gonna type in TS. All right, and now I can go ahead and hit the add sequence to set up the numeric portion. So I'm gonna hit add sequence. You can expand this to see the advanced features if you like. I like that option, and I will need to take advantage of some of those. So my numbers are going to start at 10 and count up from there. So the initial value is going to be 10. So I'll enter that in. The increment, that's how do you want it to count. For this one, I want it to just count by one, 10, 11, 12. But if you wanted it to count by tens or twos or whatever that may be, you can set that here. Now the repetition, this is something I see used frequently with self laminating labels. So this is how many times do you want it to repeat that same number before going on to the next. Often with self laminating labels, I see that people need two copies of each. So for the serialization, I wouldn't want the repetition to be twice. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that here. All right. Perfect, and now if I had other parameters that I wanted to put in here, I could. Um, for this one, I can go ahead and I'm done setting up my serialization here, okay? So I've done that and it's applying it to my label. You can see over here on the right hand side that it's showing me I am looking at label one of five. Now I love this feature because I can use this like a preview. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on this arrow and you'll see that it's gonna scroll over to the different labels. Perfect, this is exactly what I was looking for, all right? Now you can also click on the data tab and it will show you this information, but in this scenario, it's really just kind of an FYI, another way of looking at it. So if that's what you were ready to do, you can go ahead and push print. Push print, you're gonna get what is the pre-print screen. So again, if you need multiple copies, you can go ahead and select that here. Um, but I'm ready to push print, I just need one of each because the sequencing is adding my two copies of every label. So I'm gonna do that, push print. Now I've got my labels printed, they're all in order and ready to go, I can go apply these. So that was printing self-laminating labels from the label editor software part one. 
If you want to see more, tune in for part two. If you have any questions about this or any other product or feature, we would love to chat with you. Thanks again and happy labeling.